list of is becauseit.com is here. Becauseit.com is an American website and we are located in Holland, Michigan. So if you're local, feel free to stop at our office to look out at our yarns because becauseit.com or becauseit.net is the same uh, website. Uh, we have the biggest uh, collection of chunky yarns for hand knitting in the United States and in the world. Today I would like actually to introduce our new uh, color of super chunky merino wool. This is a gorgeous confetti color. You can see a blanket here made with it. It's really beautiful. It's available only at becauseit.com because I just created this beautiful color uh, recently. Today our project will be a Easter chicken beautiful Easter chicken. Two years ago I introduced you to an Easter bunny. Now you can see everybody's making those bunnies and now we are making Easter chicken. So this chicken uh, made with uh, our beautiful white marble color. It's available only at becauseit.com. Uh, it's a custom made color. You can also make it with yellow or any other color you want. On the uh, top of the head, you can see some red. I use some leftover of our cranberry red and uh, legs and the nose are made with leftover of our yellow, beautiful yellow color. So you will need only one skein of our beautiful white marble or any other color. We have 48 colors of solid colors and we have 27 colors of variegated colors. We also have Jumbo Chanel yarn that is available only at becauseit.com because it's a custom made yarn. So if you're ready, if you bought our yarn, we're shipping all over the United States and abroad. If you have it, let's get started. Hey guys, let's get started. So we will be making this beautiful chicken and I will be using white marble color. It's a custom made color available only at becauseit.com. I will be using some red for the head of the chicken or rooster. I will be using some leftover of yellow for the nose and the legs. And I will be also using some safety eyes that I bought on Amazon and scissors. And for the safety eyes, you can actually use just black yarn. Uh, that will work also. So let's get started. We will find the end of the yarn. Place the yarn in front of you. The tail on the left, the walking yarn on the right. Make a knot uh, on the end of the tail to prevent yarn from unraveling. Cut it close, cut the tail close to the knot. And now uh, we will leave about 10-12 inches tail uh, to connect the bottom of the chicken. So over here, leave a little bit of the yarn. Now place the working yarn on the top. Insert your hand inside this loop. Grab working yarn. The, these two strings go down. The loop goes up. And this is your first stitch. You can make it smaller or bigger by moving uh, working yarn up and down. So we will keep it about an inch, an inch and a half. So now we will be casting on a chain of 13 stitches, guys. How we will do it? We'll insert our hand or uh, fingers, grab working yarn and pull it out. This is our second stitch. You can see it's the same size as the first one. Now we will press the bottom of the stitch that the, when we're making the next stitch, the stitch will not uh, get bigger to keep it the same size. Insert your hand, grab working yarn, pull it out. We have three stitches now. Now we will keep knitting this uh, casting on the same way until, as I said, we will have uh, 13 stitches. And uh, stitches, you should try to make all stitches the same size. Then it will look good on the finished product. So let's count our chain or stitches on the chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. So we have 13 stitches now. What are we doing next? We are placing 
we are turning this chain on another side like that. Walking yarn goes on the back now. And we are connecting this uh, uh, chain into a circle like that. So now this tail will go inside, not the last stitch, but the previous uh, stitch on the bottom. So we'll just insert the <coughs> tail, and uh, this way we just connected this circle. So what do we do now? What, now we will be knitting around, and we will be using the middle part of the stitch, not the top, not the bottom, the middle part. We will lift it, insert our fingers, grab walking yarn, and pull the yarn out and make another stitch. See this bump? That's what we're using. We're uh, inserting our fingers underneath this bump, grabbing walking yarn and pulling it out. Next one, not top, not bottom, the middle part. Why are we making uh, it this way? Because this way we will have a beautiful uh, flower-like bottom for the chicken. If you want to make a pillow, round pillow, that's the same way I am making the bottom of the pillow. So now when we need all 13 stitches, we will need to count to make sure that we needed all of them because yarn is very fluffy and you can skip one stitch by mistake. So here we are. This is the tail. The tail will stay inside. It will show us where the row is starting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3. We have 13 stitches. So here is the first stitch. It kind of look, uh, it looks like a pearl stitch. So you can uh, unwind it and you can knit it to avoid this uh, Curling stitch in the middle, or you can simply skip it and start knitting the next row. So it's up to you. I'm usually uh, changing it to be completely precise. So, anyway, so next row, simply insert your hand, grab walking yarn, and pull it out. And after this, the tail is going inside, out of the way, but it's very important part because the tail shows us where we start our row. This way we know how many rows we are making. So we almost the approach the beginning of the row where we started. That's our second row. Here we are. This is our second row. What are we doing after the second row, guys? After the second row, we are folding the circle in half, like that. Why we're doing it? Because this way, when you're, you keep knitting, the simple uh, knitting stitch, but this way your stitches will be closer to each other, and you will not have big gaps be in between. So here we are. Now we flipped it and we will keep knitting around. So when you reach the last stitch on this side, you're flipping it on another side and you keep knitting. So we will be knitting this simple uh, knitting stitch for 10 rows, guys. Okay, after 10 rows, we will be switching, we will be decreasing the stitches. I will show you how to do it. So I will, after 10 rows, I will be back and I will show you how to do it. Okay, guys, so we made 10 rows. You can count them by the stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now we will be decreasing. Uh, see, this is the tail. That's where we see the, uh, where we started the row. So what are we doing now? This is a knitted stitch. Next two stitches, you can either put second on the top of the first or first on the top of the second. Uh, I usually prefer second on the top of the first, and then two stitches knitted together, okay? So what are we doing s next? We are knitting three stitches as is. Three stitches, guys. We decreased one, 
Now three stitches uh, need as is. And now next two stitches we will decrease again. Second on the top of the first, and we decreased. Now three more. One, two, three. Turn. Now we uh, d we didn't reach the beginning yet, so we are decreasing two more stitches into one. And now we are knitting two stitches. So you see, we uh, uh, finished the row. So we're knitting two stitches. And now we are decreasing next two into one. Again, two simple knitting stitches. And next two, I am knitting together, make it into one. And next two, the same. And we, you can see we reached our uh, beginning of the row. We will keep doing it for one more row. Knit, knit, decrease two into one. Now, knit two and decrease next two. Uh, knit them together, make one. And here we are. We uh, we reached our uh, end of the row. So what we have here, we have only six stitches left. What we will do, we will actually need two, and we will uh, need two together one more time. So now we have five stitches here, and that's when we can uh, finish. Or actually, we can need two more to reach the end of the row and knit two together. This way, it will be really like pointy. So we have only four left. That's the goal, four left. So now we will cut the tail about eight inches. We will make a loop, I uh, mean, it. Uh, knot, cut the tail close to the knot, and now we will finish the top. So see these four stitches that we have left? What we will do now, we will insert this inside of each of them from inside out. One, two, three, and four. See what we have here? Now we can insert it inside one of the stitches that it was inserted before. And now we can simply make a knot to secure this stitch. Now it will go inside, and that will be the bottom of, I mean, the top of our chicken. So what we will do now, we will now attach the eyes before we will uh, put some stuffing inside. So I w because eyes are black, we will need to find the white area for the eyes where yarn is white, because if we use black area, you will not really see the eyes. So what I will do, I will simply uh, attach it to the yarn. And try to attach it to the yarn, not to the uh, opening in between of the stitches because this yarn is big it's not as easy to attach the safety eyes as uh, for example if you would be using the uh, regular yarn so here one eye and we will put our second eye over here again I am trying to attach it to the yarn not to the opening uh, not to the hole because then it will fall. It will not be holding. Here we are. So here we have two eyes, and if you can see, this eyes has uh, a little bit of the uh, brown uh, around. I would prefer uh, this eyes uh, instead of uh, just black. So you can find those on Amazon. So now we can actually use uh, the filling or the stuffing and we will put it inside 
you can just use a old pillow that's what I'm doing I washed it and now I'm using it to make this uh, chick so here we are now we will need to close it on the bottom so how we will do it the same way as on the top see this uh, stitches the top stitches not the bottom top stitches here is the uh, tail so the tail will go from inside out inside every stitch and this is how we will close the bottom of the chicken you can pull yarn a little bit after inserting uh, the tail inside the three five stitches like that closing it and then when you are done with all the stitches here we are see we have the beautiful flower like a uh, bottom i would uh, also put the yarn inside the uh, those two stitches that we already used this way the yarn will be uh, connected very nicely and then the tail can go inside you can make a knot with it or just simply tuck it in it will be holding nicely here we are beautiful bottom for the cheek here is the cheek and what we will do now we will now make the uh, top of the head I will take my cranberry red uh, color and I will make a knot on the end and there are two different ways to make the top one is more for a rooster and one is more for a chicken this way is more like a rooster so i will show you this one so we will start somewhere uh, over here in the middle between two eyes insert your finger uh, underneath the stitch and then pull the stitch out and then uh, make another knot with this yarn, another stitch. Here we are. So this guy can go inside. We don't need this end here. It should go inside. So now you're just leaving this uh, red uh, part here. Then we're going inside the next stitch, and we're making a stitch. And then we will be using the yarn and knitting another one. So this is one way to make it. And if you want to make it uh, more like a chicken looking uh, uh, top of the head, then you will be simply uh, like you have first one, then go underneath the second one, pull it out, and then the second one goes inside the first. So this way you will be just uh, making little red line on the top of the chicken like that. See, it's very different, but it's looking good too. It's just a little bit different. Here we are making this top of the chicken. And you can make uh, five, four, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we can make another one, number six. Here we are. So we just made this top of the head, six stitches. We're cutting the yarn, making a knot, and we're simply, uh, let's cut the tail, and then we're simply uh, putting the tail inside like here we are. Oops, no, that's not what I did. So the tail goes actually inside the last stitch to finish it, and then pull it like that, and then uh, hide the tail. Here we are. So here we are. This is the top of the cheek. And now we can make the uh, nose. For the nose, it's very simple. We're taking the yarn, we are uh, placing it like that, making a loop, then insert your uh, fingers, grab walking yarn and pull it out. And depending how big nose you would like to make, you can make it longer or shorter and like that. 
then cut, and that's what you have for the nose. Just a simple stitch. And then it will go in between the eyes over here. I will uh, make a knot with it inside, and the stitch will be sticking out, and these two uh, ends will go inside, like this. Here we are. We have a nose for the chicken. We have the uh, top of the head done. And now we need to make uh, wings, and we need to make legs. So let's start with the wings. The wings should be uh, about the level of the eyes or a little bit lower. So here we are. So this is the eyes. So we will start our wings somewhere over here. And we need three stitches on the side, guys, OK? So we will insert our finger and you need one stitch, make one stitch, then make two stitches, and make the third one. Here we have three stitches. This stitch can go inside, and I will make a little knot, and then tuck it in. So here are three stitches. Now we will need, need three stitches for a few rows and depending how long wings you would like to make you can make three rows or we can even make four let's make four one two three one two three it's yeah so here we are and now we can uh, decrease this uh, three stitches. Second goes on the top of the first. We're knitting them together. Knit second stitch or the third stitch. And now we are knitting these two stitches together. Doesn't matter uh, which one will go on the top of which. Just make those two into one. Here we are. We just made this beautiful win. Now we will cut the yarn. We will make a knot. Cut the tail. The tail goes inside the last stitch. Pull, and the wings is the wing is done. So this tail goes underneath, and then you can just simply hide it under the stitches of the wing like that. See, you cannot really see it. So here is one wing. Now we will need to make another one. The same way, guys, we're making a knot to prevent it from unraveling, cutting the yarn close to the knot. And then we need to make sure that the uh, second wind will be on the same level. So see, that's where we started here. So we will start over here. And that's where we will making we will be making second wing. So we're leaving a little tail with the yarn. And then one, two, and three st stitches that we will make into the wing. And this tail uh, needs to go inside. And I usually make a little knot like that to make sure that it will not be unraveling. So here we have three stitches, and we are knitting them for four rows. That's what we did with the uh, first win. So it's two, it's three, and one more row. And it will be exactly enough uh, one skein, you will actually have a little bit even left. So we have four rows. Now we are knitting these two together and knitting the third stitch. And then we are knitting these two together. Again, doesn't matter which one goes on the top when it's the last stitch. Now cut the yarn, make a knot, cut the tail of the knot. The last, uh, this uh, tail goes inside the last stitch, pull, and you just finished your second wing. Now go underneath the wing, go 
hide it. It will not be noticeable. If you hide it well, here you go. We hid it here, and this is our second wing. So the chick has now two wings. Now it needs legs. Legs will be what we need. So here we are. We will use our yellow uh, Chanel for the legs. Again, as you see, I just made a knot on the end. We'll turn the cheek on this side. It will be easier this way. So uh, legs will be somewhere this where on the level of the eyes. So over here. So we will insert our finger the same way. Grab walking yarn, leave a tail, and then make a second stitch. Here we are. And that's actually really nice already. You don't need anything else. You can keep it like that. Or you can make another, if you want them to make this way, then you can knit one more row and then knit these two stitches together. Here we are. So that's another way to do it. Cut the yarn, insert it in the last stitch, pull, make a knot to prevent unraveling. Then hide this uh, uh, end, this tail, on the back of the leg somewhere. And we also need to hide this tail, the beginning of the yarn. So just tuck it in anywhere. So one leg is ready. Then we will do the same uh, for the second leg. And second leg again will be on the level of the eye. So here's one. And we will make another one here. One and two. One more row. One two and then two stitches together and here how the leg is done and then this yarn goes inside this tail anywhere and this guy make a knot on the end cut and then tail goes inside the last stitch pull it's ready and then go on the back and hide this uh, tail. Here we are. <laughs> so the chick is done. Look at this beautiful chick. So here is one and here is another one. So it's very easy project guys, make it with your children. Uh, they will love this little chick. You can order this yarn at becausey.com. You can order the chick at becausey.com too. We have uh, them pre-made, these guys will be for sale uh, in pre-made section. So go to becausey.com and uh, get our yarn. Stay warm and be cozy. Hey guys, my hand knitting book is ready for you to purchase. It can be purchased at becausey.com and on Amazon and also available as a e Kindle. It's a perfect gift for yourself or your loved one. It's the most unique uh, gift and book on the knitting market.